Hello Masaka Universe. Well, let's finish the uh, European qualifier in that October international break. Um, I watched yesterday two games. Maybe I shouldn't have because I should have slept because <laughs> I was short asleep. But no, I did watch and I actually got a good night of sleep. So good. Uh, of course, I the one I watched was Switzerland against Ireland. That was the main game for me. The other uh, game that I put on was uh, Sweden against Spain. Um, why Sweden? Uh, why Switzerland? Ireland? Because I really thought this is a last chance, whereas the other one was more or less a chance for um, Spain to qualify and Sweden to get a little bit. But both were intriguing games. Not necessarily the. Yeah, I mean, the Switzerland game was the biggest. Uh, there were other really interesting games. So let's hop right into it. I would say. Uh, we'll start in Group uh, D, the Switzerland Island group, where Georgia beats Gibraltar 2 3. Actually, I think it's a big result for Gibraltar if you ask me. Uh, scoring two goals, uh, that's not something that you see all that often. But Switzerland Island, as I said, was the big game uh, in many ways. Um, Switzerland needed a win. Ireland needed at least a draw to have a, a good chance for qualifying. I mean, it's uh, with the 2 0 win for Switzerland, it's not over yet. Uh, the game was really, 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 uh, the first half it was mostly Switzerland. Uh, horrible pitch. I, I think they said some of why it was that way, but um, honestly, they, um, <laughs> that didn't register with me. Uh, Seferovic gave Switzerland a, a lead in, I think, the 16th minute from a shot from the distance, which uh, was not deflected any, any, anything. It's a rare thing to see these days. Um, and then Ireland clawed themselves back in, but uh, in the first half, I really, Switzerland was the more dominant team, similar to the Denmark game. And actually, I think Switzerland probably should have um, added a second one uh, that dominant they were but in the second half things opened up Ireland clearly came forward and fought themselves back into the game However, it was again Switzerland who had the better chances and they had a header to the post through share um, then there was a penalty given that Rodriguez uh, took but he was uh, saved by the goalkeeper Rebound uh, didn't go in, and that also kind of when the penalty was given, it was a second yellow for uh, Coleman, and that meant he went off. And I think at that moment, I kind of had the feeling that yeah, maybe Ireland, despite all the fighting spirit, despite putting in a big effort, it might not be enough. And then in the end, um, it is, um, yeah. Fernandez takes a shot and Duffy deflects it into his own net uh, to make it 2-0 for Switzerland. Overall, a deserved win. Switzerland needs to uh, they play now Gibraltar and Georgia. Uh, they need four points from that. I think they will do that and uh, they will qualify. If we look at the standings now in Group D, uh, Ireland still leads but has a game more. Denmark uh, 12, Switzerland 11. Uh, the next time... They're playing, both have uh, winnable games, so they will move ahead of Ireland. Uh, I think Switzerland is playing Georgia, Denmark is playing Gibraltar. And then is the big um, Ireland-Denmark clash, where Ireland needs a win. That would be enough uh, if, I assume Denmark makes three points, but uh, if Ireland is level on points with Denmark, Ireland wins the qualifier. So there is still a direct route for Ireland to make it. But Denmark looks to be good. Uh, and Switzerland, I think, will get the uh, points that they needed. Let's move on to the next group, which is, of course, Group F. Uh, Faroe Islands, Malta, 1-0. Don't need to say, but it's the uh, duel of the Minos. Romania, Norway, that was a huge one for Norway. They needed a win to stay in contention there after they got the point against Spain. Uh, dominated the first half, however, Romania really came uh, a knocking in the second. They had a penalty that was saved at first. Um, then they get the lead through Mitrita. Um, could have probably added a second, then Norway kind of 
claws themselves late back into the game and Sirloth in the 90 second gets the equalizer. I think Odegaard had also missed before, but it was too little too late. And unfortunately, Norway is eliminated from there. But as far as I know, Norway still has a playoff uh, spot secured. Sweden Spain was a weird game. Uh, at first, Spain really dom dominant, um, missing chances. I think it was was it Rodrigo who wants to round the goalkeeper uh, too elegantly and is punished for that. But then Sweden, after the second half of the first half, Sweden is suddenly the better team, and they themselves have a great chance. I th I th uh, header. The De Gea, who for some reason it was De Gea not playing probably because Kepa uh, made the mistake late in Norway, but I have to say um, I don't quite understand it. I thought Kepa is now, you know, if you have decided on Kepa, stick with Kepa, even if he makes a mistake. But okay, De Gea made a real big save there. Uh, so it ends nil-nil. Uh, early in the second half, De Gea again makes two saves. Uh, there was um, Markus Berg. Uh, header that he saves nicely. Then there's the uh, rebound from uh, Forsberg, who also gets saved, but then the Berg gets that uh, rebound and puts it in, in, into the net, uh, make it 1 0 for Sweden. Uh, at that point, probably not even undeserved. Um, also, I have to say, I don't understand why Spain was playing in white. Uh, well, you know, whatever they call this uh, light blue thing. I think if they would have played in a red, it would have looked much better. Um, then you think Spain should come, but there was really not much. Sweden could keep Spain mostly at bay. It was really that uh, I could concentrate so much on Switzerland Island because there was really not much happening. Uh, Sweden, Sweden, Spain, Sweden uh, was holding back. They knew we are defensively sound. We're going to make that one. Well, you didn't, except that, that you didn't. Rodrigo Moreno from, from a corner, just for a second, the Swedish defense is not quite there. And yeah, um, a shot and uh, Rodrigo Moreno deflects it. Rafa Fabian Ruiz shoots uh, Moreno, deflects it into the net. Um, and it's 1-1 one, one, and that's enough for Spain to qualify. Um, if we look now in that group, as I said, Spain is qualified. Sweden looks good, I would say. I mean, they I think they have to play Romania. That will be the uh, important match. But I'm I'm confident from what I saw from Sweden that they will get at least a point there. So I'm really not worried for Sweden if they win that one. They are through. Uh, Norway is, off, is out, and Faroe Islands and Malta at three point eight. They win their respective home games against each other. Then, due to, I think it was Don Kippur, Israel wins 3-1 over Latvia, which uh, puts them now level on points with Slovenia and Northern Macedonia. I still don't give Israel much chance, to be honest, to qualify, although they are in there. Um, let's see where this is going, but Israel finally gets a win again. And then two huge games in um, Group J, where Finland beats Armenia 3-0, which was basically, uh, they were, uh, this was a big chance, let's put it that way, big chance for Armenia to um, overtake Finland. However, Finland does not really mess around there and uh, wins quite comfortably. Um, the goals I'm looking up by Jensen 31st and then twice Timo Pukki. Uh, both running at the goalkeeper and lobbing over him. Um, but that would not be in self. I mean, it was already a big, a big result because now Armenia is out of the running. But the question was, uh, what is Bosnia going to do? And Bosnia playing in Greece uh, and Greece actually being largely, from what I could tell in the highlights, the better team. Um, and Pavlidis gives Greece in the 30th uh, a lead, but Goyak with Admittedly, a really nice passing move gets the equalizer for um, Bosnia. But in the second half, there were many chances for Greece to uh, to win it. In the end, it's an own goal in the 88th by Kovacevic, who gives Greece... Like, again, I saw only three-minute highlights, but for what I saw, I thought it was a deserved win for Greece. 
And lastly, Italy continues their perfect qualification campaign with a 5-0 win over Liechtenstein. In the first minute, um, Liechtenstein had the big chance. They didn't take it and right on in the reverse, Bernadeschi makes it 1-0 in the second. And it stays for the longest time like that until Belotti heads it in. Uh, very weird. I think Farik more or less dives under the header. You, yo, 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 gotta see the in, 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 in the replay. It seems like this could have been entirely avoided, but then it's all hell breaks loose. Romagnoli gets his first goal for Italy. El Sharavi in the 82nd, now playing in China, gets a goal and Belotti adds a fifth. And Italy remains perfect. And it was also nice to see Italy in white and blue and no green patina on there again. If we look now at the table, Finland is a point away. Uh, probably a win and I think the next time they play, they play at home to Liechtenstein and they can secure qualification. So it will be Italy and Finland out of the group, which also means I need to somehow procure a Finland jersey because I really like Finland overall. There's a lot of things to like there. I'm actually quite happy. I'm actually quite amazed and a little bit happy about Finland. I, I'm quite honest about that because they have not made it to a big one. Maybe they are the new Iceland. Let's see. Anyway, um, I'm gonna give you a big roundup of how things where qualification will go um, in a, a sep in a final summarizing video. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments below if you can fill me in on the matches that I didn't see. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.